we are looking at a website done by um, with WordPress using the Elementor Site Builder. Today, we are going to explore how to create a load more button for a um, product archive page for display of products in each category. So instead of having a pagination tab like this over here, we shall have a load more or a show more button here where your audience can click on that button and it will then load more products on the same page here. And we can decide on how many products we want to load each time. And uh, our audience can keep pressing on that button to load more products each time. So in order to have that button, we need to install another plugin that works well with the Elementor Set Builder on e WooCommerce. So let's go to the back end to look for the plugin. All right, so under the plugin page, uh, we go to add new. And at the search plugin box here, we can click on load more. We can type in load more. Let us use this second one by B Rocket. It says load more products for WooCommerce. So we install over here. And then we activate. After we activate, this um, plugin should appear under this B rocket. We have a B rocket here um, from a previous plugin that is called the product compare plugin. So we have a product compare plugin. So now we should also have a, a load more. WooCommerce load more um, plugin. See, there's a load more product here. Let's click on this here. Okay, so uh, there are a few settings that we will need to set and they are actually quite simple. For products loading type, we should set it to load more button. Products per page, let's try to put four first. Four products per page it means every single time we load, it will load four more and four more. Um, loading image, we can actually choose a rotating one. Um, so if you choose your A, just know that this A will be rotating. All right, it'll be a rotating A. So um, let's choose something that looks good um, while it rotates. Perhaps I may want to just choose a star, a rotating star. All right, so a rotate image on load. Um, we don't have to adjust any buffer pixels. Um, don't update URL when this page show yes, because I want it to be shown on the same URL. Save change. Okay. Now I go to button setting. So um, the preview. Okay. So for text, uh, look more. Maybe I want to change to show more. Show more. Right. Um, yeah, so the preview is here. Okay, show more. Um, my theme color is about orange. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to adjust the color to orange. Background or mouse hover. Or mouse hover, I don't want it to be purple. I want it to be a bit darker gray. Okay, um, border color, leave it as black. It's all right. Uh, text color. Okay, so it's from um, a black to white. So when I hover, it becomes of as white. Form size, uh, I can reduce the form size for once. Okay, make it not so loud. Um, we have padding. So the padding will be the space in between the the text and the, the entire box. It will be this space is the padding. So I can make it um, a wider 
with a red right and a left padding. I will increase my right padding a little bit more, maybe 70, and then my left also I'll go to 70. Okay. So it looks bigger. If I go to 150, it will look even wider. 150. Okay, like this. All right. Um, margin will be the space, <coughs> excuse me, between this button and my products up there. So I may want to set a bigger margin, perhaps about 30. All right, for the top. Um, no border and border uh, um, radius will be how rounded I want it to look. Okay, so maybe if I set all to 10. And then you'll look a little bit rounded. Okay, so I save changes. Okay, to set all to default will be to just reset all your settings. Okay, so um, we don't really have to uh, bother ourselves with the rest of the updates, but let's check how it's going to look. So initially, for this um, bathing page, the archive page, it shows the pagination. So let's just refresh it. And here you go. You see, you have the show more button over here, and I'll click on show more. And I have four, uh, four more products coming in. I'll click on show more. Okay, and then I have four more and until the end. All right, so I have no more products. So the button disappears. So this is how it works. Um, thank you for watching. That is all. Hope it helps.